The Beast Grip Pro is a stabilization rig and lens mount system that can improve your iPhone videography and photography. How's it going folks? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. I have on the desk right here the Beast Grip smartphone lens adapter and camera rig system. So you can attach your iPhone to this rig and really take your iPhone photography and videography to the next level. We're gonna focus mainly on videography here and some specific applications where this is useful. So you can attach your iPhone 7 or your iPhone 7 Plus or any other smartphone really to this device and really beef up your ability to take photos and videos. Now this thing even has, as you see here, a lens filter mount. You get a 37 millimeter lens filter mount so you can attach additional lenses to this rig and really step up your iPhone photography and videography. And the folks over at Bscript also sent over this Pro Series 0.75X wide conversion lens, which will attach directly to the Bscript, which is super nice and super cool. So we're gonna check that out as well. So let's get started. Let's get these things unboxed and check it out. All right, so here we go. So we have information card, the user manual, and you have the beast itself. So the beast grip itself is very sturdy feeling. It's part metal and part molded plastic. And we're gonna look at this a little bit more up close here in just a second. Here's our accessory box. Now, along with the Beast Grip in the wide angle lens bundle, we also received this, which is a collaboration between Beast Grip and Kinko. This is a wide angle lens. It is a 0.75X wide conversion lens. It has three elements, three groups, very high quality lens, a big piece of glass for a smartphone lens attachment. So this is the Pro Series lens. We're gonna go ahead and unbox it right now. So inside you'll find a sticker, you'll find a carrying case and cleaning cloth and then you'll find the lens itself. Now the lens comes with a lens cap, an actual real lens cap, which is kind of nice. And it also has a cap on the rear as well. So you can keep your lens protected. So here is with the Pro Series lens, looks like with the cap off. We'll just take off both sides and there you go. All right, so let's talk about the features of the Beast Grip individually. Okay, so here's the Beast Grip and let's talk about, first of all, one of my favorite features, the quarter 20 mounts. There are actually five different quarter 20 mounts on the B script here. You'll see two right here. So you get those two quarter 20 mounts on top. You can use those for a variety of things like microphones or lights, etc. Uh, if you turn it around here, you see three quarter 20 mounts for a total of five quarter 20s. You get the two on each side and then you get the one in the middle, which is dedicated for tripods or other stabilization apparatuses. So lots of expandability here. Now, speaking of expandability, the Beast Grip actually includes two thumb screws here, which allows you to expand the width of the Beast Grip to accommodate larger size phones. So for instance, if I have an iPhone 7 Plus, which I will be using with this, I can open that up and I can use those two rods here. You see it actually comes right off. Basically those uh, thumb screws apply tension to those rods to keep it in place. So you can expand this thing to accommodate larger phones. So you can just tighten up the thumb screws like that and it'll stay in place just like that. So really nice to be able to expand this thing on the fly. Uh, and I find that this system works very well to accommodate large phones. Now you also get two thumb screws on the left side of the B script and this allows you to move the lens filter mount up and down like that. So you can put the mount in place when you wanna use it and move it out of the way when you don't wanna use it. And of course, this allows you to also accommodate the camera positions of the different phones that you're gonna be using. We'll talk more about that in a little while. Now this spring-loaded clamp allows your iPhone or other smartphone to lock into place securely. It has little rubber feet on each of the little clamp arms so it 
doesn't damage your phone when it locks into place, but it does hold your phone very securely. You can actually take these little arms off and relocate them using the little screw holes and this allows you to, again, accommodate a wider variety and size of phones. So if you have a really thin phone, you can move those arms into place. Now, one of my favorite features of the Beast Grip sort of alludes to its namesake, this little handle grip right here. And this allows you to have an ergonomic grip on your iPhone to provide handheld stabilization. So if you're shooting handheld mode, uh, this is gonna give you the necessary points of contact that allow you to have super smooth and steady photos and videos, especially nice when you have optical image stabilization. You can use that in concert with this handle or with the Beast Grip itself and have really, really smooth videos when shooting in handheld mode. Now here's another nice little feature that's included and built into the Beast Grip. You have this nice little coat shoe mount and this coat shoe mount can be used to, again, mount all sorts of different accessories like lights or monitors even or microphones even. So lots of flexibility here. Now let's go ahead and mount our iPhone 7 Plus inside the Beast Grip using the clamp. So we just pull the clamp up like that, push it into place, and it's locked into place. It's that easy. And to remove it, just pull the clamp up and remove your iPhone like that. So let's go ahead and put it back in. Just show you how easy it is again. Just pull up on the clamp. The clamp actually has a little spot to pull up on, on the back. You can do that easily. And you can see that the way this thing is designed allows you to access all of your ports all of your buttons on your iPhone, so you can access the power, you can access the home button easily, the lightning port, etc. And you can see how the Beast Grip opens up. You can slide it and lock it into place to get that flush mount with the lens adapter so that you can add on additional lenses. Now, if you want the most flush mount, Beast Grip does recommend that you go without a case if you're using an iPhone 7 Plus, so keep that in mind. All right, so now let's talk about lenses. If you get the wide angle lens bundle, you get a macro lens and you also get a 0.43X wide angle lens. So we're gonna put the macro lens on first and this allows you to get those up close and personal macro shots using your iPhone. So let's get some up close and personal shots of this duck and you can see there the macro really allows you to get close to your subject in a way that you just normally can't do. Um, you can see how close I am to the frog see all that detail there and you can see the text on this lens you can actually see how it's printed on the lens it's so close all right so now let's try out the 0.43x wide angle lens and this attaches directly to the macro portion of the lens here and the main lens mount features a 37 millimeter thread so you can attach any 37 millimeter filter or lens directly to this with ease so here is the 0.43X wide angle lens. You can see the before without the lens and the after allows you to get much more in the shot with relative ease. So let's go ahead and unscrew this lens and the macro lens and we're going to attach the Kenko wide angle lens. This is the Pro Series lens. It is the 0.75X wide conversion lens here. So we're gonna go ahead and attach that again. It features a 37 millimeter thread. So you can easily mount this directly onto the lens mount attachment and we'll do that right now. So we're gonna unscrew the cap and then just screw it right on here and you can see all that glass. All right, so let's screw it on. And now you can see that this thing is really starting to live up to its name. It really looks like a beast with that fat piece of glass mounted there. And Beast Grip is already planning the second generation of its DOF adapter, which allows you to mount Canon glass, Canon EF lenses directly to the Beast Grip for even more options. And as I mentioned earlier, the bottom of the Beast Grip features that quarter 20 mount that's dedicated for stabilization devices. So I'm gonna screw on this quick release plate. This is a plate that's used for a Manfrotto ball head but you can use any sort of stabilization apparatus. So in this example here, I have it connected to a Manfrotto tripod, and that obviously provides a very nice amount of stabilization, perfect for videography or photography. I think the real point of this whole thing is, is that B-Script sells all sorts of accessories that allow you to customize this thing to your liking. So for instance, they even sell a coat shoe mount that you can mount directly onto one of those quarter 20 mounts to add additional accessories that use coat shoe mounts, such as an LED light. So you can easily mount a light or a monitor or any other apparatus right on top of the Beast Grip. Now, of course, the Beast Grip opens up all sorts of different avenues for stabilization. So you can use things like sliders, you can use gimbals or any other stabilization tool that you need. So I have that quick release plate right there for the ball head, just snap it into place like that. And now it's stable and I can maneuver the Beast Grip into the exact position and angle that I need for my particular shot. 
just like this. And that's really nice to have. So I'm using this Rhino slider, which is just an awesome slider. Uh, you can use it in automated mode using the Rhino motion controller, or you can use it handheld if you like to do that. But I find that this slider is just downright amazing. I'll have more on this over at 9to5toys and in future posts here on 9to5Mac. So I'm using this slider to pull off some simple slider moves, but it's effective. And you can see how the B script just sits right up on top of there makes it super easy to use this with your iPhone or any other smartphone for that matter. So ladies and gentlemen, this is just a, a overall look at the B-Script. This is a very flexible tool that can really convert into all sorts of things. You can use it handheld, you can use it on a stabilizer, you can use it without the grip, with the grip, you can use it as just a tripod mount, you can use it as just a lens adapter, the choice is all yours. But one thing's for sure is that you can improve your photography and videography with the B-Script. Make sure you head over to 9to5Mac and check out the full post for more details. And let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.